Welcome back to the channel. We have got a second gen 4Runner in the shop today. We are going to be removing, it's already solid axle swap with a 3-4 and whatnot. Um, we are going to take the front axle out, strip this thing down, and three link this thing. Make it uh, work a little bit better in the front, give it some more flex, and uh, ride a little smoother. So let's get this thing up and tear it down. All right, out it up in the air. Uh, we have some cool parts on this thing. It's a trail gear rock cell axle. Um, we are going to tear all this down real quick, get it down to bare frame, and that way we can, and we'll pull the bump stops, shocks, brake lines, all that stuff. And then we will set this thing back down um, at the ride height. Right now the front's actually higher than the rear. So we're gonna set it at the same height as the rear with the suspension completely removed and then we will put the axle back under and kind of see get some measurements see how much up travel we can get um, there's a possibility if we can't get enough for what we want we're just going to cut the frame off build a new frame section and uh, that way we can get some up travel We got the front axle out and everything in the front end stripped down. So we are going to lower this thing and see what we've got room wise at right height. All right, we got it back down, rolled the axle under on the tires to check clearances. This, um, this box is gonna move and the steering will be dropping down. So it looks like we actually have a pretty good amount of space for some up travel. So we might be able to just leave this frame alone. We gotta get some actual measurements to see. All right, we're gonna pull the axle back out, strip it down to get the steering all stripped off and to get the shock mounts and whatnot stripped off the frame. Get it ready for fab.
All right, we got the frame all cleaned up, everything cut off, and the axle stripped down. Um, this leaf spring perch is kind of built into a truss, so I shaved it down, and then it's got some junk in there, so I'm gonna clean it out and probably just weld those shut, or I might cut that off and make a new one, depending on how things go. But let's get this steering, um, either drop below or just remove it, and get the steering box off, and then that way we can get the axle set up under there and see what we're working with. All right, we got these holes reamed out to three quarter. Obviously, this is not what we're gonna run. We're gonna run heim joints, but just to keep the axle from flopping side to side, put that back in there um, a lot lower. So now we're going to, since the we got the steering box off too, so we're gonna get this axle back under here, take a couple measurements, um, and that way we know where it's gonna be close to at right height. And then from there, we will lift this thing back up, get this thing on jack stands, and set it to where right height's gonna be and see if we're going to be able to keep this frame or not um currently normally i would just chop the frame off but with this setup the engine is going to be the limiting factor anyways and it's pretty much even with the frame so we're going to play with that and see what we come up with all right the axle is up under there pretty much at full bump um actually probably a little past the steering will drop down a little bit um Obviously right now we have some space, but when it articulates, it'll go up a little. Um, and then the track bar issue, or will be, so we'll drop this down a little, the track bar will be somewhere in here, which you can see how tight everything is right now with the, uh, the diff and the engine and whatnot. Um, so we gotta get this all perfectly centered, run a couple more measurements. Um, once it's all centered and we can figure out what full bump is, we can see, if this is gonna work, which right now I'm thinking that you, no matter what we do, the engine is gonna be a limiting factor anyways, and we don't wanna raise it up or anything. We don't wanna change that because the hood barely fits as it is with a big scoop on it. So we are going to start mocking, getting some measurements, start mocking some things in. <laughs> 